first? What would you do first? Yeah, what would you do first, Sasha? Uh, you want to solve something for you or <laughs> Well, we're going to cross multiply, right? Cross multiply. So, so, so it's y plus x. So y plus x dy equals y minus x dx. And since this is in the section on uh, homogeneous differential equations, it's probably going to be homo, right? So um, before we um, check that it's homo, shouldn't we write it a certain way? Don't we usually have everything equal to zero, right? Yes. Maybe subtract this. So it'll be minus y minus x dx equals zero. And to make it even better, you can distribute the minus. So, so it'll be, I'm going to write this, I'll leave it as y plus x. y plus x, dy, y, mm -hmm. and this will be, if I distribute the negative, what's going to happen? It's going to be plus, negative, negative and negative is positive. positive, and then is that negative y now? That's mm. negative y. Okay. It is. Is there a reason to switch the positions over? Yeah, I just wanted to make it look better. I mean, this could be, uh, this could also be exact, right? So it might be it might be exact as well, but it's in the section on um, homogeneous. Do you want to check to see if it's exact, or do you want to just try to do it like a homo? Just yeah, like homo. Okay, like homo. All right, so it's it doesn't not, matter. Not, I don't think it is exact. You don't think it is exact? Well, if you if you let's see let's see if this is m and this is n, then del m del x is one. Oh uh, well, when you're doing exact, you have to call this m and this n. Remember, it's m dx uh, plus m dy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the so y and x. So yeah, it is So del m del y. Oh, no, no. It's negative 1. What's del m del x? 1. 1. So it's not exact. Okay, so it could probably be made exact, but it's not exact. Okay, so it's not. Okay, so back to the, the homogeneous. So we can let y equal ux or x equal by. It doesn't really matter. Which one do you want to go with? y equals ux. By the way, you can tell it's homogeneous because all the powers are the same, right? Like if I plug in ty and I plug in tx here, what can I do with the t's? I can factor them out. And you can do the same thing here, right? So if you can factor out t to the same power on both, it's going to be uh, homogeneous. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now we have to compute dy. So dy is u dx plus x du. I have it memorized. So just to make a point on whether or not it's exact, if it was a y squared here, would it be exact? Oh, ah, homogeneous. Would it be homogeneous if it was a y squared? No. No, it wouldn't, right? It would not be homogeneous. Because if you plug in x, tx or something. Yeah, it wouldn't work. You wouldn't be able to still be in there. You, you wouldn't be able to pull all the t's out. You know what I mean? So, okay. All right, anything hazy up to here, it's probably going to get really messy. Does this make sense? The plus... X oh, I just, this is a product rule, but I have it memorized. So it's u dx plus x du, just alternate. Okay. Yeah. So if it was so if it was x dy, it would be dx equals v dy plus, what do you think? Y dv. Y dv, yeah. Yeah, just, just alternate them. You don't have to really know, like, the whole... Yeah. So now we plug everything in. This is the part where, like, the mistake happens. So y is equal to ux. So this is ux plus, and this is x, and then dy is this, so it's going to be u dx plus x du. Oh, this is not good. And You're going to have to foil that. Yeah, I know, I can <laughs> foil. Uh, plus, and this is x minus, and then y is ux, so you got to replace the y with the ux. And Sasha's right, this is, this is the worst one. The homogeneous DEs are the worst ones you will see. Like, they are super, super messy. Because you have to foil. That's, that's what it wants to do. Okay. Anything hazy up to here? Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay. So now we just have to foil here or distribute. So we're going to do this times this. So it's going to be u squared x dx. And then this times this. So it'll be plus u x to what power? x squared. squared d, is that right? Okay. If you make one little mistake here, it's over. Like, you get credit, right? But if you make one mistake, then you can't integrate, and that's like the best. That's the worst part. Then x u dx, and then x squared d u. Right, and then the last part over here would be x dx. So plus x dx minus u x dx equals zero. Whoa, what a wreck. What a wreck. And at this point, stuff should cancel. Okay. Quick question. Yeah. How much credit do we get for that? It depends. Like, if you mess up here, you mean? 
No, you do it all right until that part. You're, you're like almost halfway there. Because see, if you mess up here, like say you mess up a little bit here, and then you won't be able to integrate, so you won't be able to finish. So what if it was like a really hard integral? So then it's like more than a minus one. But if it was like an easy integral, then you get more points. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, does anything go away? Uh, oh! No, you, uh, you oh! Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Any, any light turns? No, so you just group all the du's and all the dx's together, right? So we have to group them all together. So it's going to be this guy and this guy. This is really weird. So it's going to be um, u squared x plus x. And I wanted to skip a step, but I didn't. dx. And then over here, it's going to be plus ux squared plus x squared du equals 0. So grouping these together and grouping these together. So lots of... Just grunt work, just lots of algebra. Lots of algebra. Makes sense. Or what next? <laughs> you gotta find out what x is. Yeah, yeah, maybe maybe clean some stuff up, right? Like mm -hmm. maybe pull out an x here. So let me let me erase this. So we've got we'll pull out an x here. So you get x u squared plus one dx. And I'm gonna put this on the right hand side, subtract this. It's going to be, pull out an x squared, so x squared u plus 1 du. So subtracting this to the right-hand side, pulling out an x squared, and then factoring out the x from, from, from this piece here. Okay. It's a lot of work. I use more than one board. So now we have an x here, and here we have a negative x squared. So I guess we have to get rid of this, don't we? So this has to be over here, and this has to be over here. So we're going to do two steps in one, right? So we will divide by x squared. So it's going to be x over x squared is just dx over x. x. Now, I'm, I'll leave the negative over here. Here it's going to be u plus 1 over u squared plus 1. Negative. Du. Du. That's still negative, right? Hmm? That's still negative. And it's still negative. Yeah. It's, yeah. Good. Good. Good save. And it's still negative. Point now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, some water. All right. So, anything hazy up to here? Does it make sense? It's hard. It's hard. I haven't done this problem in a year. Okay. So this is going to be an ln. Now this guy here, you can easily break this up and do it. It's going to be if you write it as u over this, you can make a sub, and one over this is going to give us an arc ten. So I'm going to come to the side. Well, I'll just do it here. This is come over here. This is dx over x equals this will be negative u over u squared plus 1 du, and this will be uh, negative du over u, u squared plus 1. You write it like this. Then you can just... Breaking it up. It's negative u over this guy, negative u over this, negative 1 over this. The negative side here, so it gets distributed, right? It gets distributed. These problems take a while to do. Not like, it's like a five-minute problem. So ln. Oh, 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 oh. This is going to be an arc tan u, right? But what about this one? What, what sub can we make for this? Well, what would w be in this case? u squared plus 1. u squared plus 1. I'm Philip. Good Philip. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> All right. And then, oh, we don't have a 2 here. So we, what do we do with the 2? Just divide by 2. So dw over 2 equals dw. That's du. You mean u. Yeah, it's du. It's a mistake. du. Thanks. du. Isn't it 2u du? 2u du. Big mistake. 2u du. Thanks. Thanks. 2u du. 2u du. 2u du. Falling apart. This problem is wearing But you divide it by 2, so it just becomes u du. Yeah, so it's just so it's 2u du, and then here you just get u du. u du. This problem is hard. It's a long problem, too. It's a really long problem. All right, so let's just finish it. So this is ln, absolute value of x. Um, this one here, be really careful. This is going to be negative 1 half. And then u du is, is the dw over 2, right? The negative came out, so it's just going to be dw. And what's the bottom called? U. No, not u, but w. W. Double, double U. Double U. It's a, it's a W. It's two of them. And then this is minus. 
arc 10, uh, it's 1, right? it's 1 squared, so it's 1 over 1, so I won't write it, so 1 over 1, and then it's arc 10 of u over 1, so I'll just do arc 10 of u, plus, and I'll just go with c, I'm not going to call it anything else, I'll just, let, I mean, we'll, we'll rename it later. Anything hazy up to here, does it make sense, guys? It's, it's a lot. It's a lot, I was thinking this would be easier than number 2, but it, it's feeling worse. I was just saying you should cut the homework down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so that's good for you. All right, so let's, let's keep going. Um, so this is Allen absolute value of x. This is going to be equal to negative 1 half. Allen absolute value of w. w was u squared plus 1. And then here we have minus arc tan u. And then here it's, here it's plus, plus c. Right, plus c. Plus c. Any questions up to here? We're almost done. Like it's almost over. Does it make sense? You're lost? No, I got it. <laughs> Are you sure? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was just hoping it was done. <laughs> no, 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 we're not done yet. So after you plug in your u's, technically it's right. Yeah, we're still good. We're still good. We're not done though. Because we, we know something, right? We know something. We know that originally y was equal to ux, right? Right, y is, and so that means that u is equal to what? x over y. Almost. y over x. y over x. And so now we got to replace all of the u's of y's over x's. So it's ln absolute value of x equals negative half. ln absolute value. It's y over, I'm just going to leave it like that. y over x squared. Plus 1. Plus 1. Minus r10. y over x. y over x plus c. And you can simplify a little bit, but I really don't want to. Like, you can keep going. And I think you're going to lose, you can, uh, yeah, I think you might lose an ln x or something if you keep going. Do you want to keep going or do you want to just stop here? So you can, like, add the ln x over there? But you can, no, you can actually perform the addition here, use properties logs, and keep, okay, good, I'm with you. Good, good, good Sasha. Good. Yeah, that's good, yeah. I think we'll stop there, that's good. Let's leave it there.